So currently our app looks like this, and this is how we want it to look. Oh, but first quick disclaimer. First, in this video we are going to make it look like this, and uh, give it a polished look in the next one. So let's apply some styles. I've prepared a file called card CSS, which we will use, and you can find the link to it in this video's description. That file contains uh, several classes defined, for instance, rows to align elements horizontally, and also some styling for the elements. So the first row is uh, the date, then goes icon, then goes temperature and summary, and then current city and options button. So first let's import that style. After we imported it, let's uh, start wrapping our data into rows. Let's wrap the dates. Uh, then we skip the icon, it takes the whole row of itself and wrap temperature, apparent temperature and... Oh, we forgot to add the summary last time. Let's add it. Don't forget to go to app.js and uh, pass the summary prop as well. And now we can wrap it into a row. For the last row we also need an options button. Later we will add uh, an on-click handler that will flip the card and you will be able to switch the CD, like this. And let's wrap it into a card row. The outermost div will, be, will have the class just card. Also, let's add a line between last two rows. As you can see, temperature formatting doesn't look like the end result yet. We need to apply different styles and we also have to have this slash, so let's fix it now. Now let's apply some other predefined classes, like card day. Card weather for summary. Card city for the city name. And that's about it for now.